As I prepare my birds for the new season, I thought I'd share with you the way that I approach my birds on the block and on the kill. I never use tidbits or approach the bird with food in my glove. I just let the bird hop to my fist. This takes some patience at first, but the birds will eventually all do it. None of these birds have ever been called to the fist for food. I'm flying three Gear Peregrine Tiersels, all chamber raised. Badger, 6th season, DC's 10th season, and Xander in his 17th season. When I start flying the birds to the drone at the beginning of the season, I put them on a stool. This way they feel comfortable. They can rouse, mute, and then they go to the drone. They get a bit wild in the off season, and if I were to let them go from the fist, they may take off and go land in the field rather than go to the drone, which is a behavior I don't want them to do. When I approach my birds after they have taken the bait on the drone string, I roll up the parachute and then offer my fist. The birds jump to the fist with the food. Again, I never have food in my fist to call the bird to my hand. I never approach a bird with food in my hand, whether on a kill or on the lure. Feeding a bird on the fist is an art and is developed with experience over time. It's tough to teach experience, but I can give you a few pointers. Always hold the food firmly between your thumb and your index finger. Be steady. It's all about the dining experience. If you should be feeding something small, like a sparrow, it can be just given to the bird and let it eat it on its own. But larger pieces of food, sometimes the birds will grab them with their foot and not feel comfortable trying to eat with the foot wrapped around the food and, will may, and may try and bait. I always hold the food firmly between my thumb and index finger. Once the birds are strong, they no longer need to be released from the stool and can be released from the fist. I never approach my birds with a piece of food in the glove. They resent it. It would be like going out to a fine restaurant. The waiter reaching down and touching your meal. Once the bird has eaten the head and neck of its quarry, I hand them a plucked sparrow as a trade-off. If you don't have access to sparrows, any piece of quality food will work, about 30 grams, quail, pigeon, dove, etc. While the bird is eating the sparrow, I viscerate the grouse and give the entrails to the dog, who loves them. I then take the heart and toss it over to the falcon. Remove a leg from the grouse and have it ready for the falcon once it jumps to the fist. But 
The food is not given to the falcon until after it jumps to the fist. Remember, this is just how I do it. It doesn't mean that it's the right way to do it, but it has worked well for me. When the bird jumps to the fist, let it calm down for a few seconds. Don't give it its meal immediately. Keep its meal hidden behind you in your free hand. Once the bird settles down a bit, then give it the meal. If you give it to it immediately, the bird will be aggressive. Stay tuned for my next video when I'll teach you how to cross a fence. Find out.